Hey runner, Steve Dooley here at the Faithful. <coughs> Hey runner, Steve Tilly here, the Faithful Runner. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about blood. Or more specifically, your blood sugar while training and during your races. Now this segment doesn't necessarily cater to someone with diabetes. Um, a lot of times when you're exercising, uh, doing extensive exercise, long distance runs and things like that, your blood sugar has a tendency to drop. Um, now this depends on the individual from person to person. It could vary. Some people find that when they're doing an extensive exercise, their blood sugar actually rises. But most of the time, your blood sugar is going to drop a little bit. There have been many times when I've been out training for my half marathons that I've noticed that I started to feel really sluggish, uh, no energy. Um, naturally, you're exerting your body quite a bit, uh, pushing you know 13, 12, 13 miles. Um, but halfway through my training, I'd get to maybe mile six, seven, or eight, and I'd, I'd really start feeling it. Um, and uh, I, I would struggle the rest of the distance. Um, and I found that um, this is due to my blood sugar dropping. Now, I am borderline diabetic, but uh, because I've started eating right, watching my, uh, my nutrition um, and exercising, um, I'm staying away from being a diabetic. But because of that, um, during training, um, I've noticed that I would just start to crash. I found that that you need you need that that sugar punch. You need that punch to get you get you back into the race, get you back into the training, get you get you to finish out these miles feeling feeling human. So um, I found that if you take dates along with you. Now basically dates are nature's candy. They're they're sweet, they're they're full of natural sugar. Um, they're really good for you and, and they taste great. I wouldn't recommend that you just throw Snickers in your mouth. Mmm, Snickers. Now a great way to get energy is by making your own energy chews rather than buying them from the store. Basically all you need is juice, chia seeds, coconut milk, salt, water, brown rice syrup, raw sugar and shredded coconut. Now I'll put the recipe in the description below, but that's that's the basic ingredients to make your own energy chews and, and they're all natural and good for you. So again runners, if if you're feeling sluggish when you're out there and you're just you're just halfway through your training, halfway through the miles that you've set for your long run days and you're really feeling drugged down, it, it could be due to a drop in your blood sugar and, and you just need to punch that back up and, and that'll get you going again. You'd be surprised what what a couple of dates or, or a couple of these natural um, homemade energy chews will do for you when you're out there pushing the miles and, and starting to, to crash a little bit. So if you find that this works for you, if you find that this uh, helps you build some extra energy through your training and through your races, uh, post it in the comments below. Um, if you've tried out the recipe that I put in the description and you enjoyed it or you have your own recipe, go ahead and post that in the comments below as well. Um, I thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.